All right. So last time we have created a video which basically add this point to your resume so that your resume gets selected and it got amazing, amazing response. So in this video, we are going to discuss about almost like five more topics that you can basically add on the Saturday or Sunday probably, right? And I think these are important points or you can say these are important skills, right? And one more thing is that I'm going to give you exactly how you can learn from them and from where you can basically learn and how much time it will take to learn all those skills. All right, let's get started. Awesome. The first one, I think the weekend skills that you can add to your resume, right? Guys, first of all, in the last video also, I have told you, right? Basically adding more skills or more keywords to your resume generally helps, but it doesn't mean that you are keep on adding those skills. It means you have to be almost like 70% sure that yes, this skills actually I have known, I have worked on it, right? I have done some kind of projects, right? So that is very, very important disclaimer that you need to add. All right. And one more thing, almost 77% of you basically watch the video, but you don't subscribe. Why? Guys, please subscribe, right? Thanks a lot. And you can watch this video in 1.5s disclaimer. Let's get started. The first one, I think, which is my favorite one, guys, when we are basically learning about the automation, right? Even if you are a, suppose you are a manual tester who is doing normal manual testing, right? Again, you can start learning about the skill, which is the Maven. Maven is something that you can basically add to your skills, right? What exactly is a Maven? Maven is a powerful, powerful project management tool, which will basically help you to build automation, dependency management, and it has its own build life cycle that you should know, right? So it basically helps you to develop a Java projects, right? Whatever the Java project that we are basically developing, right? Uh, for example, we are going to learn about the API automation. We are going to learn about the web automation, right? All this you can use Maven for this. Okay. It will basically help you to resolve your dependencies. It will manage your build automation and everything. And it can basically give you uh, what we call, I mean, it's just a person who will solve you a lot of problems, to be honest. Okay. It has its own life cycle. For example, validate, compile, test, package, integration, verify, install, and deploy that you can basically learn. There's a free training, which is sdet.live slash learn Maven. And that is enough, I think, where you will basically get to know how you can basically add Maven, what exactly, how you need to install into your system, how basically getting started with Maven, right? It has basically told about in this case. Okay. So all these build skills and everything that you can basically do it. All right. Now the second thing, which is second skill number two, Confluence. Guys, Confluence is basically a team collaboration software, which is basically developed by the Atlantian. Again, uh, it is one of the important, you can say a skill or a tool that you can basically add to your resume, right? Which basically will help you. The same company who has created Jira. Confluence is nothing but basically a centralized workspace where you can basically have your documentation. You can create your documentation. You can collaborate. You can basically organize your documentation. I have seen Confluence people are using for project documentation, meeting notes, notes, process documentation, roadmaps and integrations, right? So I remember in my last three companies, everyone was using Confluence and you should know how to work with Confluence, how to basically add, for example, different things. For example, when I was working with Scrum framework, right? How to add uh, retrospectives in, into the Confluence, how to add requirements into the Confluence documents, how to add any kind of incident report onto the Confluence, right? You should know you should have those templates ready also right it also provide your template but again that's the simple point third important one which is the fires jira the fire basically which is a plugin or tmt which is test management tool it's a plugin for jira itself right so the fire is a test management tool which is created by smart beer smart beer generally creates a tools around the test and automation mostly right so basically you should know how to configure it right you should know how to basically add this to jira i think i have showcased this into one of the manual training where we have basically added the fire into the jira right you can basically find a free trial of Jira, right? Go to the Atlantian.com, find a free Jira, just sign up there, right? And add a Jira, right? Where you can basically add this free plugin for one month or somewhere, right? And you can add the fire scale to your resume also, right? Where you will see how to add your test case, test execution, metrics, right? Everything that you will see. In upcoming videos also, I'm going to show you how it basically works with the fire, right? Which is another skill that you can add to your resume, which is very, very easy. And I think important. Postman, guys, if you have not added Postman into your resume, guys, please do it immediately. It's one of the easiest tool which will basically that you can add to your resume and it's a view postman basically actually created for api development right but you have a youtube training on the testing academy i have given you a huge list you can find here on the playlist section right it's a huge list containing postman tutorials and all i think with just one of the and uh, you can how you can basically run by using newman jenkins and everything right and the miro diagram how to run through the ci cd everything you should know right please go ahead and watch the training the last one is the kanban kanban i think it is one of the important thing i think you have seen
seen these kind of diagram where we have backlog in progress, peer, right? To do list and sometimes uh, you have seen this board, which is Kanban board. Kanban is basically a Japanese terminology. It's a visual project management tool, right? It is one of the framework in the agile also that we generally use. And it basically will help you to release or you can work with any kind of projects, right? Where you can divide, subdivide your, where you are, where you are in a workflow, right? You can divide your task. That's it, right? So limiting the workspace, it basically help you to manage your work, right? Uh, it is very intuitive in nature. And I think it is one of the easiest thing that you can add it to your resume, right? So I hope this helps. This video is all about the things that you can basically skills and tools that you can basically add to your resume. I hope this is important, right? If you want part three, let me know in the chat part three, quickly comment. And how many of you already know? How many of you have already added these skills into your resume? Let me know. Just type ME in the chat. All right. And if you're liking these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to channel. All right. And if you're existing subscriber, thanks a lot for joining in. If you're a new one, consider subscribing. I create videos around the software testing and automation. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.